Welcome to BMW Today. Today is a very special episode. It's about the brand new BMW M3 and M4. And with me is Mr. N, Marcus Flash. Hi, Marcus. It is. Yeah, it was good to be here. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, M3, M4, stunning setup, the cars. Um, how important are these two products for your company? Well, you know it, right? M3, M4, it's our icon. It's our most important car in the entire organization in 2020 is 100% focused on making this happen, preparing for the launch, because this is so important for us. If this is your most important vehicles, I'm yeah. sure you have a bunch of new technology approaches and other highlights with us. Would you name a few of them? Well, the ballpark figure, so to call it, 480 horsepower to start with, 510 in the competition, all-wheel drive in the competition and the automatic transmission, rear-wheel drive and manual transmission on the M3 and M4. Uh, everything you ask for, right? Character, performance. We outperform every predecessor that this car had. What are the technical highlights that makes this car driving so well? Well, we did what we always best at. We take a fantastic 3 Series and 4 Series and really put it to another level. A lot of stiffness, a lot of struts to the body, to the chassis. Engine powertrain, a brand new S58 that is actually the basis for the GT3 race car, the P58 in it is more or less the same engine with a different oil supply. New tire dimensions, sport tires available right from the beginning. Well, I saw you also with a shot on the M4 and the GT3, so how important is this car for BMW M in terms of racing? M3 and M4, especially the M4, will be the basis for customer racing cars coming now. We will have a GT3 car, um, start of race in 2022. The engine is more or less the same. The race cars and the street cars were developed in parallel. This is very important for us. This is our DNA and this is what our engineers are best at. These cars have stunning colors. I haven't seen them. Are they brand new in the M3 and M4? Sao Paulo Yellow. It's a brand new Unicolor. We developed this especially for the M4 launch. And behind me is Isle of Man Green, a metallic color, a little more subtle, but not too much. Yeah. Okay, well, I can also see, you know, the front design, you've, you've made M3, M4 looking similar. And for the 3 Series or for the M3, that's a brand new face. Why did you get, make that move? Well, first of all, there's a lot of functional requests for the cooling air intake. And uh, we derived the optic with a minimalistic design purely from motorsport. We, we don't have a kidney frame, for instance. Mm -hmm just high gloss elements and then the color of the car. Also, if you look to the bonnet, the way the bonnet takes on the form of the kidney grill, I think dramatic is the least we can say, right? Slightly like a GT car, eh? There is a whole lot of specific design elements. When I look at the M3, for example, this blackish area on the bottom, would you give us a walk around to explain sure. some? Sure. I mean, the rocker panel optic that we have on this car, always in, in high gloss black, is derived from motorsport. It's dramatic, uh, also reminiscent to the E30 M3, and this black section stretches out along the entire car front and rear. You can only top it with some carbon fiber elements that are options, and you can see it on the yellow competition version. They add some carbon fiber to the front and also to the diffuser, but all M3 and M4 come with this high gloss black lower end. You were talking to me about also the driving. Um, I can see tires. You guys use different tire sizes, front and rear, in terms of rims. And the color of the brakes has changed as well. Any news on this one? As you mentioned, 19 inch front and 20 inch in the rear. Carbon ceramic brakes are already known from the predecessor, but also the M compound brake, that is the standard equipment for those cars, will be available not just with blue calipers, but also with uh, red and black. You can even individualize the optics of your brakes in this car. And what variants of the car will be available? We will start with M3 and M4 with 480 horsepower um, with manual transmission. Then there is an automatic transmission on all competition models, 510 horsepower. Middle of next year, we will also bring all-wheel drive variants, pretty much the same system as we know from the M5 and M8. Switch off front axle if uh, required. And then uh, later on a convertible and also for the very first time a touring. Oops. Yeah, I've seen you on Instagram posting yeah. that one. We're looking we forward it. to those one. 
Uh, Marcus, one more thing for the community out there, for sure they want to know some figures. Uh, when you say 480 horsepower, <coughs> how much is this from 0 to 100? 480 horsepower is on the manual, translating to 4.2 seconds, 0 100. The uh, automatic transmission competition uh, models will do 3.9, and then the all-wheel drive will put something on top there. Even faster. Mm. Marcus, I can't wait to see the rear. Yeah, but uh, before we go to the rear, most important on all generations M3 is the wheel arches in the rear. We had to fit in special M axles, and uh, this body actually is almost 80 millimeters wider than a standard 3 Series. Very dramatic styling uh, and quite obvious. That is massive, and as I said, this screams like drive me. Yeah, and it also screams four tailpipes. 100 millimeter diameter. You can have them in black as well if you go for the competition. Right. Then the, the black element of the rocker panel, it carries on into the rear. And also the fins from the carbon roof are taken over in the fully functional diffuser. Ooh, it all matches, hey? Yep. That is a massive rear. That is a statement, the huh? M3 statement for the next years. Yeah. I can see a lot of carbon on the inside on this uh, M4 over there. Should we have a look in the interior? Yeah, let's do that. Ida, if there is one single feature that really stands out on those two cars, it's the carbon bucket seat. For the very first time, we have a fully adjustable carbon bucket seat electrically adjustable and still 10 kilos lighter per car. And the looks, I mean, this is race car style par excellence. That is stunning. All of the points on the M3, M4 is now mind blowing. And the setup yeah. of the car itself, I can see there's a whole lot of new features in the car as well. I mean, the carbon fiber package we touched already, carbon fiber console, also this trim parts, carbon fiber, then the steering wheel cover, as well as the shift pedals made from carbon fiber. They are more ergonomically than we normally do this at BMW. They are longer. And uh, with the M-Drive Professional, you even got a fully adjustable traction control on top of the well-known MDM system. Uh, 10 clicks. Depends on how lucky you are and uh, how good you are. Yeah, I've seen this in one of your development prototype cars, which wasn't looking that nice here. And I could check it out on the wet circle and the dry circle. It's really magic. For everybody out there that doesn't know it, there's a drift analyzer tool in it that shows you how many meters you drifted, what is the angle, and it gives you even stars for your drift. Couldn't have explained it better. Yeah, well, we got to drive this one. Uh, Marcus, I can see also a track mode on the M4 here. Is this also part of the new setup possibilities? The track mode is available and part of the M Drive Professional. It takes away all the information that you don't want to know when you're on track. There is no phone calls, no other signals. The, the center display turns black. The focus of the head-up display and everything, the shift lights, it really narrows down to what you need in this situation. Well, you haven't explained this outstanding color setup. Oh uh, yeah, a matching to the, the all-new exterior paint, we got uh, Yas Marina Blue with matching yellow Alcantara and stitching. This is, uh, for me, a wonderful combination and uh, I think this is a car that uh, can really wear it. It's really an outgoing character, I would say so. Good. That was the interior. Idea, I got something else for you. What do you got on top? Follow me. Marcus, what is this? This, Idea, is an M3 with the entire lineup of M performance parts. I saw you presenting the M5 LCI, but that was white and silver. I mean, this is a magic setup. Yeah, we put it to the next level. You see a lot of functional exterior elements, a lot of carbon fiber. Uh, the wheels are one inch larger, 20 inch in the front, 21 in the back. A fully adjustable chassis, um, standard setting 20 millimeters lower than the standard car. Carbon fiber in the, on the side, functional winglet. And then the highlight definitely is the rear. Fully functional wing, but have a look. This exhaust is made of titanium. It's 
seven kilograms lighter than the standard exhaust. It sounds spectacular, even though it's street legal, and uh, I think a very, very distinctive feature. Impressive, brutal, and excessive setup, I have to say so. Well, Marcus, let me sum this up. The M3, the M4 competition, not a set with the M performance parts. It's magic. That's it. No, that's not it. There is one more thing. Follow me, please. That's a real surprise, a motorbike. We haven't had this in our episodes with BMW today so far, Marcus. Well, we as BMW M, we have a 22-year-old tradition with MotoGP. We're the official car supplier. So it's in our DNA, as well as this bike, from the racetrack to the street. This is the brand new M1000 RR. I can't wait to ride this bike. There's a lots of functionality to it. It's not just optics, it's not just design. But I think the probably best guy to explain this to us is Markus Schramm, head of BMW Motorcycle. Hi Markus, hi Ede. It's Hi-Ede. great to be here. The world premiere of the M1000RR indeed marks a milestone in the history of BMW Motorrad. The most powerful bike we have ever built includes the most powerful letter in the world in its name, M. The history of the development of the new MRR run straight from the racetrack to this new high-performance serial production super sport bike. And the experience and knowledge gained from our World Superbike Championship racing has been directly incorporated in the new MRR. The new MRR embodies pure motorsport racing in every single aspect, from its breathtaking design to its powerful performance. And this is exactly what this bike has in common with the philosophy of the M vehicles on four wheels. Born on the racetrack, everything is based on the perfect interplay between dynamic performance, agility, precision, and suitability for everyday use. So I'm looking forward to be with you on the racetrack with the new M double R. I take the challenge. Great. And I join you guys on four wheels then. <laughs> thank you, Marcus. And thank you, Marcus. That was BMW Today, an outstanding episode this time, an M3, an M4 competition, an M3 with performance parts and the MRR bike. Uh, four highlights in one row. I hope you guys give us your comments and likes right down here. Thanks for watching.